In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 21st, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Astros vs. Atlanta Braves The 2021 World Series rematch between the Houston Astros and Atlanta Braves will end Sunday in Atlanta. The two teams are once again among the elite teams in baseball and would like nothing better than to meet again this October. On the hill in Sunday's finale will be a pair of right-handers as Jose Urquidy of the Astros takes on Charlie Morton of the Braves. The Astros are 12-3 in their last 15 Sunday games and 21-7 in their last 28 during Game 3 of a series. The Braves are 36-16 in their last 52 home games and 51 to 20 in their last 71 overall. The over is 7 to 3 to 1 in Astros' last 11 overall. The over is 17 to 8 to 5 in Braves' last 30 overall. The Astros are 4 to 10 in the last 14 meetings in Atlanta and 1 to 4 in the last 5 meetings. The Astros are playing well but they've struggled in recent road games, losing five of their last seven road games. Even though they are playing well offensively, they will struggle in this game because Morton has done a great job on the mound in recent home starts and hasn't given up a run in three straight home games, so expect him to keep Houston's offense in check. The Braves have won 10 of their last 11 games and four of their last five home games. They have been on a roll offensively, scoring at least five runs in six of their last eight games. Even though Urquidy has done well on the mound for the Astros, he struggled in recent starts, giving up six runs in his last two starts, and will have a hard time slowing down the Braves. Jose Urquidy hasn't been as effective on the road as he's been at home, as he has a 4.41 earned run average and .266 allowed batting average. Charlie Morton has been great this month, and he has a 3.07 earned run average and .188 allowed batting average at home. The Atlanta Braves are in the zone and their offense is on a heater. Hard for me to bet against the Braves here, so the Atlanta Braves money line is our full game side pick. The Braves are second in baseball in home runs per game while the Astros are fourth in the league in home runs. Heading into Saturday night's battle, Houston is 6-3-1 to three to one to the over in their last 10 games. In Morton's last seven starts, the Braves are 5-2 to two to the over. I fully expect between three to five home runs between these two teams in the warm conditions in Atlanta with two of the league's more powerful lineups. In the humid sun on a Sunday afternoon in Atlanta, I fully expect the ball to be flying out of Truist Field. Over the projected total is our full game total total pick. Cincinnati Reds vs. Pittsburgh Pirates The Cincinnati Reds take on the Pittsburgh Pirates as the foes conclude a three-game divisional series on Sunday afternoon. The Reds give the nod to Mike Miner. The Pirates reply with Zach Thompson, seeking his fourth win of the season. The Reds lead the season series 6-5. Cincinnati has lost four out of the last five vs. Pittsburgh and 27 of the last 39 played in Pittsburgh at PNC Park. Cincinnati starting pitcher Mike Miner has lost 10 of his 11 decisions and has an astronomical 6.3 one earned run average. The veteran left-hander has allowed 18 runs over the last 25 innings and the Reds have lost each of the five games. Pittsburgh starter Zach Thompson is not much better than Minor in statistics at 3-9 with a 5.51 earned run average but Pittsburgh is 2-2 over the right-hander's last four starts. Cincinnati has lost each of its last four played on the road as well as seven of the last eight against a right-handed starting pitcher. The Reds simply do not win games when Mike Minor is pitching, so the Pittsburgh Pirates' money line is our full game side pick. Both of the starting pitchers' earned run averages are more than 5.5, but both teams also struggle at the plate. The total has finished under in four of the last five played between these two National League Central rivals, as well as in three of the last five played in Pittsburgh between the two. Cincinnati is 22nd in runs scored and Pittsburgh is 28th. The Pirates are next to last in team batting average and Cincinnati is only 19th. This total is all about weighing the difference between the depleted lineups at the plate and the poor pitching on the mound. There's no denying that the pitching staffs leave a lot to be desired, but so does the hitting talent. The Reds' depleted lineup has already been touched upon, and that still wasn't the whole story. They're also without Tyler Stephenson for the rest of the season, and they have just two guys with 70 or more hits. For some perspective, 
Even the Orioles have four guys with over 100 hits. As bad as Miner has been, the Pirates don't have the lineup depth to exploit him as much as others. They essentially rely on Brian Reynolds and rookie Wano Cruz to produce most of their runs, as Kevrian Hayes is still out with injury. Miner's loss to the Pirates earlier this season totaled just six runs as well. Similarly, Thompson's win over the Reds saw just four total runs. That was back when these lineups were intact so expect a low-scoring finale. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Angels vs. Detroit Tigers The Los Angeles Angels and Detroit Tigers will wrap up their three-game series on Sunday in Detroit. Both teams are far removed from the playoff picture and will spend the remainder of the season reviewing their rosters as they continue to rebuild. The pitching matchup for Sunday's finale will be reigning American League MVP Shohei Otani of the Angels taking on returning lefty Eduardo Rodriguez of the Tigers. Los Angeles is 4-1 in their last five road games and 25-51 in their last 76 games overall while the under is 4-1 in their last five road games. Detroit is 23-51 in their last 74 Sunday games and 10-29 in their last 39 games overall, while the under is 5-1 in their last six games following a win. This is the first start in the majors for Eduardo Rodriguez since his three-month absence from the team, while Shohei Otani is 3-3 with a 2.72 earned run average in his previous seven starts. These offenses have been showing a bit of separation at the plate in the previous 30 days as Los Angeles has hit 28 homers as a team while Detroit has hit just 17 which is tied for last in that span. Eduardo Rodriguez is making his first start for Detroit since May 18th and will be looking to get off to a fresh start after a few months of personal issues kept him away. For the Angels, Shohei Otani will take the mound and he is coming off of an outing where he pitched six innings and gave up two runs against Seattle. It's not an ideal spot or price, but if the Halos are going to be a decent-sized favorite, it's going to come with Otani on the mound and more often than not, Otani gives the Angels the best chance to win games. I'm still not sold on Eduardo Rodriguez, and I think that while the Halos haven't been trustworthy to hit off of anyone, they'll show up to hit Rodriguez. So the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick. A number of factors make the under the best call in this matchup. These are two of the bottom five teams in baseball in runs per game. Each of the first two games has gone to the under and the Tigers are 3-7 to seven to the under in their last 10 while the Angels are 4-6 to six to the under in their last 10. In addition, Otani has been pitching very well as of late and should easily keep the Tigers lineup at bay in this one. Shohei Otani and Eduardo Rodriguez have solid stuff to the point that hitters are going to struggle to cross many runs. Neither offense has been doing great as of late as they are both in the bottom six of runs scored over the last 15 days. These teams teams have been terrible offensively and the injuries piling up definitely have not helped. I fully expect Otani to exit this game having given up two runs or less. Expect a low-scoring affair to close out this series. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.